Now to Taraba, where the state police command has debunked report of the death of two children in a stampede at Jalingo Main Market during Saturday's rush hour. Governor Darius Ishaku had imposed an indefinite lockdown of the state to check the spread of the pandemic with a two-day window allowed for residents to stockpile food items. Correspondent Owolabi Adenusi filed in this report from our studio. News of positive cases of the coronavirus in neighboring states had prompted the Taraba State Government to take proactive measures. The Taraba State Deputy Governor Haruna Manu had in a statewide broadcast announced the indefinite lockdown of the state. He directed markets to comply with the lockdown with Saturdays and Wednesdays being the windows when residents could stock food items. Regulated movement of public is only allowed between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Wednesday and Saturday to allow citizens to purchase household essentials. This directive has been greeted with mixed feelings. Residents were not too pleased following media reports of the death of two children in a stampede at Jalingo Main Market during panic shopping on one of the days residents could stock essential needs. The police spokesman in the state said the command did not receive any reports to this effect from any of their outstations. He advised residents to be law-abiding, promising that the police authority will live to its constitutional duties. The market leaders also shared their views with TV's news. A small girl that never reached seven years. When she falls down, people are trying to take her. I just pick her out. So because of the crowd that was in that area, that's what happened. I don't hear any death, but there is one guy that is telling us that one lady, her daughter died at the, her back at that uh, market uh, police station gate. So we are not sure about it. Governor Darius Ishaku on his part advised journalists in the state to resist unconfirmed reports capable of raising tensions in the state. The governor appreciates the Rabins for their cooperation during the total lockdown, which he says is for the good of citizens. Or by raising unnecessary alarm. Nothing like that happened. Nobody died. And uh, in this era of uh, uh, lockdown, we expect the journalists working in this state to do their investigations very well before uh, reporting any issue. Anything that is going to further cause tension, cause uh, uh, panic, we should as much as possible try to avoid. The bubbling streets of Jalingo are no more ghosts of themselves as churches, joints, viewing centers, nightclubs and other social gatherings no longer operate.